How's it going, everybody? My name is Philip, and today we are going to be reacting to Super Sentai All Core Team Transformation and Roll Call. Now, part of me thinks that I've done this before, but I think I might be thinking of the Common Rider version, or I think I did the All Female version. I have a playlist up here, and I and I up here to be more specific, um, but. Yeah, in, I, I'm interested to see uh, if this is something that I remember watching. Because I, part of me says yes, but part of me, I'm, I'm all over the place. But like I said, I, I think because I've watched a decent amount of these, whether it was Common Rider and uh, then the female one, I think I'm just, my mind's just making me overthink things, which is fine. <laughs> but I'm excited for this. This is from Go Ranger. All the way to Boon Boomger, which is the newest one, which I haven't checked out, even though uh, that might not be the one that I'm going to watch next after uh, King Osier, which that's also coming as well. So don't worry, that's I, I got some more of that coming along as well. But I've been also wanting to live stream, so unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be on this channel. It's going to be on my, uh, it's confusing, on my Twitch, which is in the description down below, along with a bunch of other links as well, which you can check out. And uh, because Black Ops 6 just came out and I've been wanting to play that. Zombies and multiplayer and spooky games as well. Especially for Halloween. I got a lot of those uh, downloaded on the places of my body specifically. And um, <laughs> uh, so here, let's, let's check out the uh, transformation and the roll call. Here we go. Wow, that was just very quick. See, these old suits remind me of more of a Kamen Rider type of suit. Just because of the round helmet. That face. That's different. That's very different. <laughs> Did it start off as them having these big capsules or something? And then slowly getting into the little handheld ones? It's also really cool to see the progression of the suits. I also like that they started off, all of them seem to start off with uh, capes. Never mind. <laughs> Actually, no, because the first one was they. That, that. Those eyes and mouth. But yeah, the first one they kind of did it without the big uh, machines. So that's. That was wrong. <laughs> I literally just saw that too. What's up with the hair though? I remember her because of the hair. <laughs> Did that freak anybody out? Is that why they haven't brought hair back? Or they didn't do much Sentai with hair? It's a bit random. Oh, it was a ring. Not gonna lie, I like the little ascot type scarfs. 
they got going. I remember that was one of the songs I remember I liked. I'm also curious, why did they stick to the same three primary colors? Was it just easier to to just, you know, get those colors and have, not have to spend more money on getting like a, a purple or orange, you know? Look like a cheetah, but that's fine. See, now they get a black. No, didn't they have? Was this the first black, or was there another black before that I forgot? Those are some cool helmets, though. I like those helmets. Those are cool. It does look like they kind of have a bib with the ascot flipping around like that. That was kind of cool. Oh, the helmets look a bit more weird on this one for me. I don't know if it's just the, the ear muff looking things or what, but those ones look a bit strange, but. Oh, that's a cool helmet. I like that they uh, soft that up a bit, and then she's similar but mainly pink. <laughs> I 
I wonder why they didn't go with the yellow on this one. Curious why why it's doing that, like the little flashing second top bit. I'm sure if I watch the actual series, then it will make sense. I actually kind of like that yellow uniform, or just the pink. The girls, both of them, actually are pretty cool. <laughs> it's just the the little ear areas over here just look kind of weird to me. I think it's just because I'm so used to watching all the somewhat newer Sentais where their helmets are a bit more like this. Is this? No, this isn't because I think Car Ranger was the uh, Power Rangers Turbo. Yeah, because that's definitely not Power Rangers Turbo. <laughs> The bird ones always, they, they seem kind of cool. Even in like uh, some of the previous ones when it was a, I know this one, kind of. Yay. I still think Gokaiger is the, the best looking uniforms that I can remember. But this just gives me nostalgia out the butt right now, man. <laughs> oh, wasn't this alien range? Alien? No, this, okay. I thought I heard that, I thought I remember seeing um, that there were, Power Rangers were going to use these suits, but decided not to. Unless someone just took a picture from Super Sentai and claimed it was Power Rangers. Because now we got the White Ranger from this one. And these helmets are dope as hell. In my opinion. This was Alien Ranger. No. Except. So now I'm getting confused because Mighty Morphin did three seasons with the 
Zero Ranger outfits. Pretty sure this was Alien Ranger, right? Hey, Zio. There we go, this is Turbo. I think I actually watched the first episode of this. Not on this channel, but I, I watched the first episode of this and it was interest it was very interesting. And then Power Rangers just didn't do a very good justice at all. Because, like, they were never super interested in cars before, and then all of a sudden they just got interested in cars. Like, the characters, is, is what I'm saying. And it was just weird. It was like, wait, since when does Tommy drive and is a racer? <laughs> you know? Because on my own, I have been kind of going back and watching some of these Power Rangers versions. And Power Rangers in Space never really talked about the actual thing. Like, once he was, what, computer? Yeah. They don't talk about that at all. They kind of just cut that out of the show completely. Now everything after this I haven't fully seen Power Rangers wise. <laughs> this is Lost Galaxy though, right? For some, I don't know why, but like I'm starting to have a better understanding of which ones was which. I think, like which Sentai got adapted to Power Rangers. Sorry, vice versa. Where, which Power Rangers got adapted from the Sentai? Yeah, light and speed rescue. Cause I got the uh, I actually got the Nintendo sixty four game of that. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, they definitely made those. Yeah, they used the darker versions of those. About to say, I don't ever remember being able to see through those. <laughs> Interesting. These were dope. These suits were dope, especially the the other Red Ranger. Yeah. 
I feel like anything that has to do with time travel, for the most part, I'm gonna love. Oh, is that? Which one's this? That's an interesting one. I think I have the GBA game of, of this one. Which, this wasn't it. The one I pulled, I... I have Ninja Storm. <laughs> i just been pulling out random Power Rangers games so I can play some of them. It's pretty funny. I like it when the suits are a bit more white with accents of something else, you know? So like the Pink Ranger. Pink Ranger I think looks really nice. See, I just think that looks so good. Uh, but she's also counts as a white ranger, not a pink ranger. Okay. Oh, that's the one I just pulled out. I absolutely love this theme song, by the way. Like, I've tried to find as many as I can on Apple Music so I could just add them to my library. And I've been listening to this one quite a lot. <laughs> Dino Fury. Dino Thunder. Dino Fury. Yeah, this one. <laughs> Dino Fury is the newest one, so this is Dino Thunder. Man, they be using the same fucking... I love this show, by the way. The Power Rangers version I thought was dope. Not just because they brought back Tommy Oliver. I was like, yes. The SPD was dope. These suits were just amazing. I kind of want to watch that version. Oh, Mystic Force was dope as well. It's like some of these I want to watch the originals now. Like after watching the Power Rangers version and just loving those ones. I'm really curious about the originals.
Cause like, I wish I had more time to just binge watch every single one of them. I have not watched Operation Overdrive. I've seen the first couple episodes and it looked really cool. And I love the suits. I just haven't watched a lot of it. I totally forget which one this one is. <laughs> it's something Fury or or something Force. <laughs> now, first I was gonna say Beast Morphers, but that's one of the newest ones, so it's definitely not this one. So I take back what I said earlier about thinking I know pretty I have a pretty good grasp on it. But I'm I just I'm drawing a blank on the Power Rangers. It's just I think I have an idea, but I, I don't know what the name is. It's funny, I actually have this Wii game as well. <laughs> I will say these suits look pretty damn dope though. Maybe it's just me. I like them, but... See, and this these dudes looks pretty cool, right? Just for some reason, Power Rangers. I don't know what happened, but from what I hear, we don't talk about that. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Cause 
he just looks so cool. This is the next one that I, I, I plan on uh, watching. By far my favorite. When I when I first saw these suits, I was like, this looks dope. time thing okay now this is beast morphers I know that's this is dino charge or dino fury but I just saw the crossover this the, the crossover is pretty cool it was very interesting how they were able to do it as well. train one? I'm pretty sure this is, I remember seeing a, something cause there was a sparkly one where they're all sparkly and then there is yeah it's kind of cool So is Sango the Japanese word for yellow? Because I'm just thinking, when I watched uh, Lupin Ranger, it was the same. They didn't say yellow or red or pink.
This is one of those that was not adapted. What? <laughs> I believe this was one of those that was not adapted. Which I think would have been cool. It's a bit weird that they imprinted the animal on the uh, the chest. This was the one right before Lupin Ranger and Petro Ranger. Just because I watched the uh, crossover episodes. I also love all of these outfits. <laughs> they, they just look so cool. I think the main reason they didn't adapt this is because that's a lot of people and I love it I have the red one this was a fun series I, I had a lot of fun watching this one. Which I watched it on my own. I didn't, I didn't record any of it, but it was it was a lot of fun. And I think I need to watch the other two crossover episodes from the pre the, the the one after to fully get full grasp on everything because the way it ended. It, it left a lot of things kind of out in the open. You didn't. Dodge Ranger. It's also really cool though. I, one thing I didn't notice was the theme song is a mixture of two different songs. Like, there's a specific song for Lupin Ranger, and there's a specific song for Patra Ranger, which is really cool, and they both sound really cool. But then they mashed it together for the main theme song, which is dope. And I still would have loved to see the uh, Power Rangers try to do this, but it's understandable why they didn't. <laughs> see, Sango. Pink. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the Power Rangers version of this one, but granted it was the second to last season ever made. 
sadly. Part of me still doesn't think that Power Rangers is over. I know that they sold all the suits and everything, but someone could always buy it and bring it back. Right? <laughs> This is the sparkly one. Wow, that... Okay. What's going on in the background? <laughs> Where are they boxing back there? <laughs> Feels like this was one of the previous Sentai. Every time I see this suit, it reminds me of like an older Sentai suit. I don't, it's just, I don't know why. Maybe it's the big eyes or something, I don't know. Or maybe it was an old Kamen Rider helmet. Or, or, there's something that just looks like it was from back in the. 70s, 80s, or something. I don't know. I don't know why the quality on this one looks like it's gone down a lot. Like it went from 1080p to now 360. <laughs> oh yeah, this was the uh, COVID year, so this had the uh, virtual rangers. Oh, the guy's pink. Or the pink ranger's a guy. Okay. Wait, does the monkey have booty cheeks? <laughs> King Osier. I actually really like this series, which is why I'm gonna try and watch more of this.
I will say, I'm not sure how I feel about the tire on the face. Bonus. Oh, wasn't this the possibly adult version? I think that's what this one was. Maybe it's not. I say that because I feel like these suits are a bit too good looking, I guess, in a sense. To Re maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I just. <laughs> I, it just looks like. The suits are a bit more high, higher quality than I would expect for a adult parody or something. Are these just like special moments throughout the the series? Special transformations? What the heck are high school heroes? Is this like a fan made one? Honestly, those suits aren't that bad. Okay, interesting. Okay, so that was that was quite interesting. Uh, again, I'm not sure how I feel when I when I say how I feel. I don't know how I like the look of uh, Boon Boomger. Uh, just I don't I, I'm not a big fan of the tire on the face. I don't know. I just I, I just it doesn't look that good to me personally. But go Kaiser! Oh my god! Like seeing those suits again. Amazing. And the one before that, the 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 Mega Force versions, those suits look pretty damn cool as well. But apparently the Power Ranger version is just uh, lacking. I will say though, I, I I do hope that someone does decide to come and and buy it, buy the IP of, of Power Rangers. They might not be able to do you know, fortieth anniversaries because they're they got rid of the suits, unless they make new ones. But I think if they make it little less kitty kitty, like like little little kid. They, they could, you know, grow it up a little tiny bit. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I personally would love to see more Power Rangers. You know? It's one of those things where, like, if my niece is... Funny enough, my niece brought home... I guess they went to a thrift store one day. And she pulled out... Or she wanted a toy. Which was a black Power Ranger... Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, nonetheless. And I thought that they brought it from upstairs, like, in our attic or something. But no, my niece brought that, and I'm like, what is, what? It's like, yeah, no, she, she wanted that one. I'm like, oh, that... So if my nieces were to get into Power Rangers, let's say, somehow, they would only be able to watch older ones. And by older, I mean ones, there's not going to be any new ones, right? So that that's that's where I kind of it, it kind of hurts knowing that my nieces won't be able to grow up with new Power Rangers, right? But 
I, I will still share with them the 1960s Batman show, okay? Regardless. <laughs> That's one of my favorite Batman shows. <laughs> it's so ridiculous and funny. I absolutely love it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Links in the description down below if you want to find my Twitch and my gaming channel. I'll be streaming dual streams. Sorry, you can't see my other hand. You... <laughs> I'll, I'll be doing a, a, a dual stream on Twitch and YouTube. So you, if you don't want to go to Twitch or if you don't want to go to YouTube, for whatever reason, just find me over there. And uh, subscribe for more content just like this. Let me know what else I should react to in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys next time.